I strongly hold the position that I have logically disproven the Christian God and the God concept in general. Therefore, I wish to do the humanitarian thing and fill one of the most important functions the Christian God and the God concept held for humans, which is the hope for immortality, or at least to escape death indefinitely. To this end, I wish to unveil various videographic dissertations that propose possible solutions to the problem of human death. The first solution that I wish to explore entails the exposition of mind uploading. This involves whole brain emulation through the process of scanning and mapping a biological brain so as to transfer its consciousness, identity, and personality to a surrogate substrate. This will theoretically allow us humans to escape the chronologically constrained limits of our biological bodies while still maintaining our identities and memories. In other words, you would still be you but in a different body or physical carrier. I would now like to give a brief exposition on the technical aspects of how we might carry out the mind uploading technique to achieve immortality or indefinite lifespan. The first practical way we might achieve mind uploading is through a technique called microtone procedure. First, the brain is made solid by suffusing it with paraffin or freezing it to liquid nitrogen temperatures. Second, the brain is cut into very thin slices. Third, each slice is scanned by a high resolution computer such as an electron microscope. Fourth, the computer then uses this data to reconstruct the person's brain circuitry into an artificial substrate such as dedicated brain simulation hardware. And fifth, this is then uploaded, so to speak, into either a newborn baby, artificial humanoid body, or a chrono substrate body. Currently, the greatest obstacle to us achieving immortality with a microtone procedure is that serial sectioning speed, automation, and size must be dramatically improved. We also need to achieve technical breakthroughs in accurate serial sectioning of neurochemicals in the synapses and ion channels in the cell membranes. <laughs>